I'm I'm sure this um, this new measure, which uh, I would or, or we can say a relaxation of border measures, uh, would help restore confidence for a lot, particularly in the tourism industry, and also that will also give them hope in terms of business will gradually get back to. I wouldn't say what it used to be before the pandemic, but I would say that at least people are looking with a a more positive outlook. They are feeling that, oh, yes, uh, we are into the stages of recovery. We are into the stages of restarting the tourism uh, movements as well as other kinds of, uh, well, I would say movement as a whole. So that is very, very important for the uh, for different sectors of Macau. Um, particularly when, when we look at Macau, the tourism industry or not necessarily just tourism per se, but other many different businesses in Macau do depend upon the movement of people. So without the movement of people, um, first of all, local residents and then visitors, it's very difficult for, uh, for the businesses to sustain for a long time. Um, the government has been giving some subsidies. Uh, we have been running some programs in order to bring people to spend money. Uh, but the issue is that without new visitation, without, uh, I would say, without outside people coming in, it's very difficult um, in the long run because we do depend very much on tourism or tourists or tourist movements, you know, in order to sustain uh, many different kinds of businesses in Macau. So that's positive for everybody. Um, people are very excited about it. But I would say that um, after such a big pandemic, it is still a slow recovery. Uh, we can't expect that tomorrow uh, millions of tourists would come in and, and that, would, that would not happen. Uh, because on the one hand, uh, people would also have still a little bit of fear of traveling. Um, so we need time to overcome that. And then we also, there are also new measures in terms of, uh, in order to cross the borders, you have to have your tests done. You have to have a lot, uh, some other, um, I would say some of the measures in order that we feel that, you know, people are coming into Macau in a safe manner. So that would still need some time for people to get used to that and also get used to traveling again. Uh, but as I said, it is, it is a positive news. It is good for the industry. It is good for Macau as a whole. And uh, we're, look, we're looking forward to, you know, re receiving tours again. Mm -hmm. I would be very conservative in that, uh, and I believe that um, we, in in these kinds of pandemics, I, I guess we need to be more more on the safe side or more on the conservative side. I, for the rest of the year, I would only be looking very, very much within our immediate vicinity, meaning to say uh, Guangdong, definitely. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can have you know a little further afield within the mainland. Um, traditionally, uh, bes tra tra traditionally, besides uh, Guangdong, our next uh, biggest markets would be Fujian, would be places like um, Hunan, uh, because of the um, of of the, uh, the of the rapid rail system. Um, so these would probably be some areas that you know that might be possible for us. Um, then we would definitely hope to see Hong Kong. Uh, back into the the, uh, the scheme as well, because Hong Kong is, um, in terms of numbers, Hong Kong is the second most important market for Macau, uh, apart from the mainland. So we definitely would love to see Hong Kong coming back as well. Another one would be Taiwan. Um, Taiwan seems to have uh, quite good controls over their uh, over their um, the, the 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 control of the pandemic. So we hope to see eventually, you know, Taiwan being being able to you know to be one of the destinations that we can you know start working on at this point in time it's still not possible because of the the travel restrictions uh, but hopefully in you know until before the end of the year we hope to see some form of development the other countries a very very difficult um, guess at this point in time mm -hmm.